Hello, BookTube. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred. So November is the Read What You Own Challenge. This challenge was created by Criminali, and I will leave a link to his channel down below. And there are two co-hosts for this event that I'm aware of. There is MJ at Reading This Life, and there's Greg at Another Bibliophile Reads. And I will, oh, and there's Crystal at Fiber Arts. See, I forgot about Crystal. I will leave a link to all of their channels down below. And what is the Read What You Own Challenge? Well, it's basically what it says. You have a number of unread books on your shelf. Uh, your goal is to read as many of those as you choose to read before you buy any new books. Now, it's totally up to you how you want to play this game. If you want to read all of the books on your shelf before you buy any new ones, it's up to you. If you want to read just a couple of them before you buy any new ones, up to you. If you want to do it by time, so if you want to spend two months reading anything on your shelf before you buy anything new, it's totally up to you. So how you want to take part in this challenge is up to you. Some people have five books unread on their shelves. Others have more than five. Some have 500. Some have over a thousand. Yikes. I am definitely not in the 500 to a thousand range. I have less than 500 books in total. But uh, I do have 45 unread books. And my goal for this year is to read, or my goal for this challenge is to read 40 of the 45 unread books before I buy any new ones. And that will take me uh, definitely all of this year and the better part of 2024. And I wouldn't be surprised if I don't buy any books until 2025 because I'm a slow reader. Anyways, uh, how many books do I have? Well, I have 18 physical books that I have to get through. I have uh, three Kindle books that I have to get through and 24 Kobo books that I have to get through. So 24, 27 ebooks and 18 physical books that I have to read. Well, 40 out of those 45 that I have to read uh, in order to complete the challenge for me. And these are my rules of engagement. So my rules, I've got four. One, to read 40 of the 45 books that I have not read before I buy any new ones. Number two, no book buying outside of books for work. So, or, or science-based, uh, well, or textbooks. Sometimes I buy science textbooks because I'm a nerd. Those don't count because I don't typically read those from front to back. I just pick out the important topics that I want. And I usually buy uh, the ones that are used like new. So they cost me only 5 to $10. They're never more than $20. But no, uh, no, you know, regular books. Uh, until I f read 40 books uh, off of my shelves. Uh, I can DNF a book. So rule number three for me, if I'm not happy with a book, I can DNF it and uh, put it aside. And that counts as a book that has been not read, but it counts towards the challenge. And box sets or series of books don't count. So I have the Mysteries of the Unknown, Time Life Mysteries of the Unknown. And I've read one of the, what, 30 books in there? I bought it because it looks good on my bookshelf. But uh, yeah, box sets don't count. Uh, so I'm not going to be reading those, uh, except for the Cryptid Readathon, where I will be reading Mysterious Creatures. And that's it for my rules. So the four again. Uh, I'm going to read 40 out of the 45 unread books that I own. I'm not going to buy any new books until that 40 is met, outside of workbooks, that is. So if I need a book for work, I will pick it up. Uh, science textbooks as well, if I find a great deal and, and I want to pick it up. That doesn't count towards the book buying ban. Uh, when I'm reading my books, if I'm not happy with um, how the book is laid out and I don't want to continue reading it, I can DNF it. I only have one life to live and I'm not going to spend it reading something I don't enjoy. And then box sets that uh, I already own don't count towards the books that I plan on reading for this reading event. Anyways, those are my rules of engagement for the Read What You Own Challenge. Are you taking part in the Read What You Own Challenge? If you are, 
let me know how many books you've selected or if you're doing it time-based, let me know how long you're going to be keeping to this challenge. For example, if you're going to read uh, everything you own for a set period of two months, three months before you buy any new books, let me know down in the comments below. Or are you going by page number? Are you going to try to read 20, 000, or 200,000 pages <laughs> before you buy anything new? There's different ways that you can uh, tackle this challenge. The point of the challenge is, you know, just to have fun with it and read the books on your shelves before you buy any new ones. Anyways, I'm really happy that uh, it started in November because I had a little bit of a book buying spree in October. And uh, yeah, so that little technicality, the fact that it started in November, allowed me, gave me the reason to buy those extra books before the challenge started. Anyways, that's it. Thanks so much for watching this video. This is Fred, and you're watching Read by Fred.